Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We are on here today to release two more digital products for you guys. I'm really excited to get into what we have for today. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Um, we talk about all things productivity using our digital planner. I personally use it on the iPad with the Apple Pencil, um, but this will work on other devices as well. You can try before you buy by going to our website, breezyorganization.com, and you can download a free notes planner with some stickers to um, try before you buy to make sure it works on your device. So we have lots of goodies coming down the road for you guys like usual. Um, I have had several requests for some more detailed planning videos and how to's and good notes tips. So those are coming. I have a list of what I want to do is just making the time to sit down and record the videos um, and especially while, while my kids are um, being entertained or while they are out of the house. <laughs> so you guys don't have that in the background. So, um, those are coming and I do hear you and I'm, I'm going to make them. I just haven't got around to it yet. Um, this is a look at what my February spread looked like. I've already showed this on other videos, but we're going to get right into this week's spread and talk about, um, some of our word releases. So I'm going to show you my spread first. And this is, um, almost the last week in, well, I guess it's the last full week in February. And this is how my spread turned out. I absolutely love it. I had some unchecked things this week and that's okay. Some weeks are like that. Um, I, on Monday, I was supposed to go to the bank and the library. It didn't get done this week. So moving it on to next week. And that's, what's great about digital planning too. Cause I could totally type into other things and check them off. Right. <laughs> or I could just put it on next week, or I could just leave it unchecked and know to do that um, next week. So down here, I'm just using a menu list and one of our widget uh, quotes. And then I just put a frame here with a little paper clip on top. And then I have a brain dump of different things that I find through the week that I like to do incorporate with the business and come out with releases. Um, and so while I was planning this uh, week, I had already used several of the February packs, um, several times. And I did not want to just bombard this with the same stickers that I've been using the previous three weeks, three plus weeks, because I kind of started a little bit in January using some of the February stuff. So um, I decided to plan a few things different. I planned the weather this week. So I have our little weather icon and then the temp for each day. I really, really liked that. I referred back to this several times to know how I dress today. And that may sound really funny, but if you live in Missouri, you could literally wake up and need a sweater and boots and everything heavy. Uh, and then by afternoon, when the weather's up into 63, 67, you could totally be in some a di completely different outfit. Time of the year, you definitely have to look at your weather app every day to know whether you're going to be wearing winter or summer clothes. <laughs> Anyways, enough said about all of that. While I was planning this out, I wanted some fun stickers. And sometimes you don't want to use just all sticker stickers. You want some words, right? So I thought I'm going to do some fun stuff. And then after I started planning and using that, I was like, oh, everybody may want some fun, funky, quirky stickers and stuff to use. So that's how this pack was birthed. <laughs> um, and that may sound really weird. <laughs> Maybe I should say that's how I came up with this pack. Um, so I was chatting with one of the girls on our Facebook group, Kristen, and um I noticed on our, one of the comments that she made about uh, folding laundry and watching YouTube. And I was like, oh my goodness, I fold laundry and watch YouTube. I wonder if everybody else folds laundry and watches YouTube. So I thought that'll be fun. I'll make a sticker about that. So I have this laundry and YouTube sticker. Uh, we have a family and game night here. And then um, I just wanted some more, just fun. So I made a let's go somewhere and then eat and sleep. Uh, you can do several different things with these. So here I just simply took um, the marker, not the highlighter, but just a marker, just the pen. Let me go ahead and click it so I can show you. So I just took the pen. I selected, um, I don't even remember which one of these I selected, but then I just simply, I didn't even make the line. It was not that color, obviously. I didn't even make the line straight. I didn't hold down and wait for it. I just did a really quick on each line, you know, and went through and done them uh, and just kind of gave it a little bit of a pop color, a pop of color. Um, but you could totally just erase this and you could go to the highlighter and pick one of these colors as well. And you could just highlight it highlight like just the bottom one or another thing that you can do, which is kind of fun. Let me backspace out of here. 
going to go ahead and put that back on there. Okay, so another thing that's kind of fun is you can erase this and you can hit the highlighter and highlight kind of, um, let me take it down some. I kind of like the look of going over and like making it straight. So hold down until it goes straight and then letting go into where it's kind of, kind of looks like a shadow, kind of looks like it's sitting on it. So I kind of like just highlighting just like the half of it and then it going kind of longer. So there's lots of different things um, that you can do, but you can bring color in that way. And of course the same, oh, how we always do. I, I never get tired of that, being able to highlight the whole thing to where it draws your attention more into that um, spot because it's highlighted. So I like all of those ways of doing it, but I just thought a, a word pack would be really fun to release. So that's what we're releasing today along with a widget pack here in just a moment. So you get some quirky words with the word pack and you can see I used four of them this week and it just really gave it, it gave the images more meaning because there was words with it and I really like how that turned out. Um, so I put the AirPods with the laundry and the YouTube. This is from the exercise pack. I put the board games with the family and game night. Um, this I believe is from the starter essential pack if I'm not mistaken. And then we have our little pig which is from the February pack and I just put eat and sleep and then the little bag which was from the farmhouse, the second farmhouse pack. Um, um, and then over here, we also have um, this cleaning thing. Okay, so it was in the original farmhouse pack. Um, so we're going to click this. We're going to grab it, copy it, and bring it back over here to our spread. So say I'm wanting to put this right here. So we're going to hold down, hit paste. Um, so I'm going to hit on the image icon and I'm going to click it because I don't want this clean house down here. So I'm going to crop and then instead of doing the rectangle, uh, actually, you could probably do the rectangle. You can. It just fits to where it will crop off the bottom of that. But say um, you couldn't do a straight line. Say it wouldn't work like that. You can hit this freehand and then you can just really draw the area that you want to keep make it a complete circle and then hit done and it will er it won't put that writing whatever you didn't include in that circle will be erased from it so that's awesome you can act you know make your stickers a little bit more customizable that way um so that's what i did here i just took off the words and then i added in a word pack um and then i highlighted it so i did just like i showed before um i don't know if i know which highlighter color i used there uh, but say I wanted to use the pink, I did the same thing that I did before. I just made it go straight and then highlight it. I think I had it a little bit thicker, so it went all the way over the whole word. Let's do a little bit thicker. Okay, bring it across, and there you go. And so you can just highlight that second word. So I really like the way that that turned out too. So let's take a look at this word pack that I keep talking about. So I'm calling it planning words, and you get... I don't even remember how many you get. I think 160 words, if I'm not mistaken, is 140 or 160, and I think it's 160. Uh, I need to go back through and count them again. Uh, but I have them divided. So you have three pages. Um, and then I have them divided. This is a GoodNotes file, but you can get it. It will come with the PNGs too. So if you do not use GoodNotes, you can use the PNG files. Uh, but I have two columns of task-oriented stuff, bills, work. And then we have the second page has events and appointments, food, relax, adventure. And then the next one has family, pets. And then funny story, I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to add another column down here, but this is actually kind of um, vet and then um, student. I think there's one study day in here, and then the rest of it is like uh, grandma uh, stuff, so it, that shouldn't have went, all went under pet, but it's kind of funny now that I left it like that. Um, and then we have fun and quirky, which isn't in any sort of category. They're just a really fun way of using the fonts and a lot of fun sayings. Uh, so to go through some of these, we have plan next week, clean house, order groceries, trash day, wash the car, uh, yard work, wash windows, fold clothes, oil change, check mail, beauty routine, package delivery, deposit checks, laundry, fold, wash, repeat, grocery pickup, Bible journal, Bible study, AM routine, routines, PM routines, feed animals, a lot of tasks. And then we have pay, pay vehicle, internet, loan, utilities, phone, bills, day, you know, payday. All of those are bills except for the payday one and then work work day uh, work from home was a highly requested sticker and I may make images stickers to some of these too but I went through all the sticker requests that you guys had and I tried to make sure I got a ton of those in here so if you're needing something immediately I've got you covered um, so staff meeting sick day zoom meeting weekend off uh, insta post post social media new release for every Sunday that we have a new release uh, 
Uh, I think I actually have one more detailed in here as well. Um, so lots of fun stuff. And then the second page is events and appointments. So this is going to be music practice, church service, dentist appointment, doctor appointment, therapy appointment, speech appointment, baby shower, birthday parties, um, all that kind of stuff. Lash appointment, chiropractor. And then we have food, taco night, pizza night, soup night, pasta night. Uh, if you'd want to plan your menu like that, um, instead of doing a separate menu thing, make reservations, ice cream, bake cookies, dinner with friends, lots of fun stuff. And then relax, relax is a mixture of stuff. I love the podcast. I'm loving YouTube favorite to put in. I'll have to show you. I've got all kinds of ideas for these. <laughs> uh, currently feeling, uh, currently enjoying a massage day and breezy release. There it is. It's under relax. I didn't know I put it underneath that, uh, book club, adventures, let's travel, uh, movie night, vacation is here, binge watch, hello weekend, um, all those fun things, beach day. And then we have family. So family visiting, family dinner, school drop off, school pickup, kids baths, kids lunches, field trips, play dates, all that kind of stuff. Pet, we have shot appointment, vet appointment, um, dog park, dog groomer, groom appointment, train dog, walk dog. And I know I did a lot of dog and not a lot of cat. So, um, we have a dog, we don't have a cat. So if there's certain things like the vet appointment, shot ap appointment, obviously you can use for any animal. Um, but if you do some of these things for cats too, let me know. <laughs> I can make some cat stickers. Um, and then we get into Gigi time, Nana time, Mimi time, grands are here, uh, kids are here, and Nana fun day. Uh, and then fun and quirky. So we have lots of fun. So laundry and YouTube, I just think is hilarious. I love it. And it totally fits my life. Uh, capture moments, let's travel, let's go somewhere, planning time, travel and snacks. Did you say eat out, crockpot kind of day, journal entry, work from home, YouTube and snacks, friends and food, uh, movie and popcorn, blanket and a book, um, chocolate please, happy hour, lots of just fun stuff to be able to add into any spread uh, to make it more uh, filled up. I know sometimes I have my same routines that I do every day and I may not have special meetings that week. So then the planner spread can look kind of dull and boring and I want to jazz it up or make it fun. And I thought these quirky little sayings were just the thing that I needed to make it look extra cute. So as you can see, I use several of those like we talked about on my spread and I really, really really like how they filled up and it was still things that I was doing and um, things that, you know, made sense to me to put on my planning spread. So that is a look at our planning words. You'll find those linked down below. Again, three pages of at least 140 stickers plus um, on those really excited about that release. I think that you will get a lot of use out of them. I know I've been using the same two. I did different fonts of the planning words pack, but I've used the basic same two or three fonts for two years now for digital planning. So that tells you how much wear you can get out of those stickers and things that you put on your planner every single week. And they're just going to be easy instead of typing them out, picking your size, picking your font, knowing how to position them just right. It's done for you. So love that pack. It's a great, great basic starter pack to use. Um, and then the second release that we have for you today is a self-care, more journal type widget pack. So this was highly requested and I'm really excited to have it for you guys today. Here's another, I was playing around with these and just kind of to show you what they could look like whenever you highlighted them. They're very pretty. I think they go with any spread. They're simplistic enough to go with any spread and I love that. Um, okay, so our self-care widget pack, I'm gonna show you uh, what we have here for you guys. So let me turn my planner the other way. We already have one self-care pack, but this is like a self-care journaling type pack. Um, you get a lot of mini widgets and then you get some of the full size as well. There are 22 widgets in, in this pack and there's normally seven in our pack. So you definitely get a lot more mostly because they're specific journal prompts. So it's kind of the same layout of the widget. It just has different journaling prompts at the top. Um, so that's why you get so many in this pack, but you have um, a self care one. So you, where you can list three things that are what's good, what's good right now. Um, what's working. Uh, you can use this for several different ways. And then you have three things that you're struggling with and any notes, like things that you can use for that. Um, to improve. And then we have another widget that says um, review. So you have three things that you're thankful for, uh, your favorite thing that maybe happened that day or that week whenever you're reviewing, and then things that you could do to improve. And then there's thoughts download. This is just a simple journaling prompt for you to just 
you know, write down anything that's on your mind that you want to get out. This is the self-care one that is right there. And then this is more. It says more of this. So enjoying life. And sometimes it's really fun to sit down and think of what 10 things are really making me happy right now. Um, this connection, this relationship, this thing, this person, this, you know, whatever it is, just list of what you want more in your life. And it could be coffee. It could be anything. But sometimes it's fun to just have that list in your planner um, to be able to look back on later. Okay, and then we have one more really fun one. I've already used this one. This one says brings joy. So I don't know about you, but there are certain, certain pictures that really inspire me. Um, there's quotes. There's just different things that I'm into that I like to have pictures of because it just inspires me. And I really go off of pictures and stuff. I love that. So it just says brings joy, and it says this fills me up. And I'm going to show you real quick the where I used it. So this was a little bit of a rough week for me, and that's why I really, really like the self-care journaling widgets because if you're having a rough week, um, it's really important to focus on what you're grateful for and things that just simply bring you joy. What what makes you smile? What just makes you feel happy? Um, and so I did that on this one. It says brings joy. And then in this little box, it says this fills me up. But down here at the bottom, I just put six images. These are things that were making me really, really happy that week. And after I did this and filled this in, it made me really happy. And I really liked it that it was on the spread too. So, um, having the self-care journal pack. I really like that and I like how you can use it uh, several different ways as well. Something that you may not know as well is all, any of our mini widgets will actually fit inside of two areas. They will fit inside of the six squares that are on the daily spreads and they will also fit inside of these. This one is the color changing um, widget set. So this is the color changing set. I'm going to erase the um, top one that's on it. And then this was in our March Shapes release pack. And then they'll also fit on those little squares that are on the daily pages. Um, the, any of the four squares or the six squares, they will also fit in there. So I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. So they're basically going to fit just like this. And then it says best thing that happened today. And then it has a place for you to journal. So um, you can use that on any type. You can use it on one of the ones that has a color background or the blank ones. Or it also will work on a daily. So you can see here that I put two on the dailies. So if you don't want this border around here and you just want it to be the writing on there with the lines, you can click it and hit crop and hit freehand. And then what I did is I just took off this bottom line because the bottom line's a little bit shorter. So just take off the bottom line and then make your circle and then it just fills up that spot exactly. So if you want it to look like that, super, super easy to do that. Um, but back to this, so it is going to work on your March shapes or on the color changing pack or on those daily spots. So you have lots and lots of different journaling prompts. So I'm just going to show you over here what you have. You have best thing that happened today. What accomplishments am I proud of from last month? What does my perfect day look like? What can I decl declutter? Uh, what does self-care look like? How do I define success? Who are three people I admire and why? How can I challenge myself? Lots and lots of questions for you to just answer and it's great journaling prompts too if you want to journal in your planner but you don't know where to start. Um, so you get 22 items with our self-care journaling widgets and then you get um, I believe 160 but it may just be 140 of word titles in our planning words pack. So that is our two releases for today. Hopefully you guys really really love them and can use them. Um, we do have some more really fun cute stuff. I absolutely fell in love with making these widgets with the little stickers and stuff in the background. And I have some really, really cute ones coming for you guys next week. So you definitely, definitely don't want to miss that. That is a look of what we have coming for you uh, this week and maybe a sneak peek into next week. There's tons of inspiration over on Instagram and on our Facebook page and on TikTok. So if you are needing more inspiration on how to use our Breezy products, definitely check us out on there. We love seeing what you guys do. Y'all come up with some of the most amazing ideas of how to use these products and I absolutely love it. And I really appreciate you guys sharing um, all of your stuff.
It's really, really close to March and I cannot wait to start using these um, amazing stickers with all the cute animals in the background. This was my weekly spread. I added some more of those um, quotes or the planning words from the this week's uh, release. I have the pay mortgage over here and then the church service there. So I think those are going to be really, really, really beneficial and make planning faster. So I'm all about that, being able to play more and um, make it more enjoyable. So let me know if you guys have any questions or ideas down in the comments down below. Join us on all of our social media outlets if you're not already, and I will see you next time. Happy planning.